AI is taking over. AI. Generative AI. It's AI. AI. AI models. When it's not busy writing essays about World War II for high schoolers, it's detecting cancer faster than doctors and perfecting the pumpkin spice latte. And creating representations of different countries as shredded anthropomorphic animals. AI can act as a translator, a math tutor, a friend. It can solve riddles and puzzles. And hey, you know who made some hard puzzles? The Zodiac Killer. He made puzzles no one's been able to solve for like six decades. Can AI solve those? There has been a lot written about the Zodiac Killer, from books to movies to blogs. I didn't even know people still had blogs until I started looking up the Zodiac Killer. And yeah, they got blogs. In a way, they're all kind of equally legitimate sources because the bottom line is no one knows who the Zodiac Killer is. Some people think it's Arthur Lee Allen. Some people think it's Lawrence Kane. One guy thought it was this professor named Michael O'Hare and has been mailing him crazy stuff for decades, including like a bunch of Zodiac themed mail. And at one point, an aerial photo of his own house. This is before Google Earth. That means that this guy had to get a plane and fly it over Michael O'Hare's house just to get an aerial photo of it to mail to him. Here's what we know for sure. During a period of only 11 months, from December 1968 to October 1969, the Zodiac Killer murdered a confirmed five victims in the San Francisco area, although he claimed it was 37. We have some general info about him. He's a white guy who wears glasses and was estimated to be about 35 to 45 around the time of the first killing in 1968. If that guess is right, that means he would have been born around 1933, so there is a chance that he's still alive. And if he is alive, how are we supposed to catch him? During his killing spree, Zodi was constantly taunting newspapers and the people who read them by forcing them to print crazy letters and ciphers on their front page, claiming that these ciphers contained his identity. And I know what you're thinking, why on earth would these newspapers print a crazy guy's letters on their front page? to sell newspapers and also because he threatened to blow up a bus if they didn't. Because everyone loves a puzzle in a newspaper, these ciphers are the main reason the Zodiac is still fascinating after decades. People who got the newspaper got their own copy of a puzzle that would lead to a serial killer if they solved it. And it worked. Z408, the first cipher, was solved in just over a week by Donald and Betty Hardin, a teacher and a homemaker who solved it just for fun. I just know they were a board game couple. I just know it. Here's what it says. No one's figured out that last part. Is it undecryptable? Is it gibberish? Is it just his weird name? A total of four Zodiac ciphers were printed in and around San Francisco. Z408, Z340, Z32, and Z13. The numbers represent how many characters are in each cipher, and the Z stands for Zootopia. The Zodiac Killer must not have liked how quickly the first puzzle was solved because he made the next one harder a lot harder. Instead of taking around a week, Z340 took about 51 years to crack. It wasn't until December 2020 when three amateur code breakers finally figured it out. All it took was a global pandemic and people started focusing on what really matters, the Zodiac Killer. Here's what it says. Kinda yappy. And that's it. In the 50 plus years since the Zodiac created them, only two of the ciphers have been decrypted. If we continue that pattern, the Z13 cipher will be solved on May 13th, 2072, and the Z32 cipher will remain a mystery until August 10th, 2174. That's a little over 200 years from the murders, so I can't say for sure, but I do feel like the Zodiac will probably be dead by then. And people don't really seem to have all that much hope that the final two ciphers are ever going to be solved. Maybe I'm wrong about how it's almost impossible to prove solutions for these ciphers. You would think that because they're both really short, it would make them easy to solve, like there's not as many characters, but that's actually the exact opposite problem, is that they're so easy to solve, and they can be solved in so many different ways that are all technically correct, that we have no way of knowing which one is actually what the Zodiac meant. The Z13 can translate to over 800 names and word combinations without rearranging any of the letters. Some of my favorite Z13 solutions include Laura Catapult, Drippy Peptide, and Sarah the Horse. So you can see that it's pretty hard to come up with one that's like definitively correct unless it's Drippy Peptide. That's who did it. So this left me wondering, shouldn't AI be able to figure this out? Large language models, or LLMs, are probably the form of AI you're thinking about right now. They work by analyzing huge amounts of data, like books and academic papers and Reddit comments, mostly Reddit comments, and recognizing patterns within them. And then they put those patterns together 
in different combinations. So if this AI's main skill set is detecting patterns and decoding language, why have we not put it to work on a code that we haven't cracked yet? I started in the most obvious place by asking ChatGPT to solve the Z13 cipher. Here's what it came up with. A-E-N-D-K-D-M-I-N-A-M. -N -N so, uh, not a strong start. When I asked it to theorize some solutions to this, the only one that really made any sense was Ian Dan Kid, me name. So either the Zodiac was a caveman named Ian Dan Kid, or this is wrong. And this makes sense because LLMs, at least how they are right now, are kind of just designed to spit out the first answer they think of, not necessarily the best answer. And if the AI, whose knowledge is mostly Reddit comments, tends to focus on things like grammar and the context of language, asking it to solve a puzzle whose whole purpose is to hide those things kind of doesn't make any sense. So can AI solve the Zodiac ciphers? Maybe, but probably not right now. If you need something to tell you to jump off a bridge or add glue to your pizza crust though, it's more than capable. ChatGPT seems to think that AI is gonna be able to crack the codes, but even it admits that continued research and innovation in AI and cryptography will be key. So AI needs us just as much as we need AI for now. While it would be really nice for AI to come into our lives and just solve all of our problems and solve the puzzles we've been trying to for decades, it's just not gonna happen like that. Unless the Zodiac Killer's name really is Ian Dan Kid, then we did it! Yay!